Good evening, fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Mr. B's Impression Theatre. Today I'll be reading that timeless classic, and you think that I saw it on Mulberry Street, by Dr. Seuss, read by Sylvester Stallone. <coughs> oh, when I leave the house to walk to school, my dad always says, Marco, keep your eyelids open and see what you can see. But when I tell them what I've been and I tell them what, what I think I've seen, and he looks at me and snarly says, your eyesight is much too keen. Stop turning minnows and mm, stop telling such outlandish tales. Stop turning minnows into whales. Now what can I say when I get home today? Hey, all, all, all the long walk from school and all the way back, I looked and I looked and I've kept careful track. But all I've noticed except my own feet was a horse and a wag on the Mulberry Street. There's nothing to tell it won't do, of course. Just a broken down car drawn by a horse. That can't be my story, it's only a start. Uh, I'll say that the zebra was pulling that car. Uh, and that is a story that no one could be. When I said it, I saw it on Mulberry Street. Yes, a zebra is fine, but I think it's a shame that such a marvelous horse with a car that's so tame. The story would rather be better to hear that the driver I saw was a charioteer, a golden blue chariot, something to meet, rumbling like thunder down Mulberry Street. Oh, well, it won't do at all. The zebra's too small. A reindeer is better. He's fast and he's fleet. And he'd look rather smart on Old Mulberry Street. Hold on a minute. Something that, uh, that there is wrong. A reindeer hates the way it feels to pull something that's run on wheels. He'd be much happier instead if he could pull a fancy sled. Hmm. A reindeer is a sled. Say, anybody could think of that. Uh, Jack or Fred or Joe or that. <coughs> Say, even Jay could think of that. But it isn't too late to make one little change. A sled is nothing. Now that's something strange. Say, that makes a story that no one could beat. And I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. But now I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. An elephant pulling a, a, a thing. Hmm? Ain't that so light? Could whip it around in the air like a kite. But it looks so grand with a, with a big brass band. And a band of... And uh, the, uh, the so good that so, um, should have, uh, have someone to hear it. Uh, it's going so fast that it's hard to keep it near it. I put it on a train. Uh, um, I know they won't mind. It, it, if a man sits and listens while, um, while it's stuck behind. Um, but now is it fair? Is it fair what I've done? Then, that those wagons weigh more than a ton. Uh, that, mm, that really is too heavy a load for one beast. beast. I'll give him some helpers. He needs two at least. But now what worries me is this. If Smallberry Street runs into bliss, unless some... There's something I can. There's something I can fix up. There'll cut. There'll be a horrible traffic mix-up. Okay, police should use a trick. To guide them through the traffic stick. It takes the police to do the trick. They'll never crash now. They'll race at top speed with Sergeant Mulvaney taking the lead. 
The man is there, and he thinks he's grand. He raises his hat, and he dashes to the stands. He dashes to the stands. The man is there, and they all have been too. Mm. They wave big banners of red, white, and blue. Now, this is the story that no one could be. When I say it, I saw it on Mulberry Street. With a roar, roar of its motor and airplane appears, and dumps out confetti while everybody cheers. Is. <laughs> There's no could do better. I'm. And, uh, I suppose I could add. A magician who eats with sticks. A, a Chinaman who eats with sticks. A ma big magician doing tricks. A ten foot beard that needs a comb. No time for more, I'm almost home. I've swung round the corner and dashed through the gate. I've ran the, up the steps and I feel simply great. I have a story that no one could be. But I sit. At the thing that I saw on Mulberry Street. But Dad said, quite calmly, just draw up your stool and tell me the sights that you saw on your way to school. Well, well, there was so much to tell, I just couldn't begin. But Dad looked at me sharply and pulled up his chin. He found me sternly and he, it was seen. That was there nothing to look at. No people to greet. There's nothing in the sight you will make your heart beat. <clears throat> nothing I said, growing <clears throat> red as a beat. But a plain horse and wagon on Mulberry Street. <clears throat> and that concludes my rendition of Mr. V. Another edition of Mr. V's Impression Theater. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Good night, and may the good Lord take a liking to you.